it should be a standard thing, in my opinion, because the sad fact is that so many people with type 2 diabetes are put on insulin without anyone ever actually checking how much insulin they're already making. Right. It's assumed that they must need insulin because the, the blood sugar is so high. Well, clearly their body is not making enough insulin. Meanwhile, they are swimming in insulin. Their body's just not responding to it properly. Right. Right, right, right. Yes. Yes. I've definitely seen that too as well. And um, the weight loss resistance, definitely I see a ton in practice with, you know, insulin being kind of that stop gate of breaking down body fat, right? You know, and if it's, if it's too elevated, you could do all the things in the world on, unfortunately, a lot of the times then unsuccessfully lose body fat. And I love that you brought up that midsection area because that is a very, very common landing place for that uh, high insulin, you know, also kind of crosses over with women and going through perimenopause and low estrogen. They kind of go hand in hand. Also the same kind of body weight gain 